Melki Valoverta. That was a little bit newling, and this one is about rehearsing for Cyrus' upcoming uh, Japan tour, <clears throat> which is in January. I think the first show is uh, 18th or 19th. We're flying there on, on 16th, now it's Thursday 12th. Yesterday I just came back from my vacation. Those of you who have followed me, who follows me on Instagram, probably noticed I did a lot of cross country skiing every day, tens of kilometers. Love it. Flatland, Finland. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm here for one day, then I'm traveling to Gothenburg and we're going to rehearse a couple of days with the, with the other guys for the tour. So we're going to play old songs and then we're going to play new songs. Actually, we're going to play the full album on the second week. Of the of the tour, so the first week is the No Halos in Hell tour, which was supposed to happen in 2020, didn't happen for the obvious reasons, but it's happening now. And then the second week, we're gonna play partly the same venues, but we're gonna play the forthcoming, still unreleased, our third album, the first single, Ready to Rumble, has been out for a few months now, and the the next single is, I think it's coming in next month, February 23. Anyway, so if you're in Japan, you know, and all you Japanese people, very very cool, very glad to be there. I've, I've been there last time I played with, with Shining, like 2015 or something. So it's about time. Anyway, you're gonna hear the <clears throat> the full album live, and probably many others will hear that on YouTube because. <laughs> You know how it is, but anyway, so I've got a, quite a few, quite a lot of questions that how we how we practice since we live in in different countries. You know, I live in in Switzerland, here in Switzerland. Alex, our drummer, lives in uh, Germany, and then the other guys uh, live in in Sweden. So uh, how we how we do it? Like, uh, for example, for this album, because I, I mixed the album, me and Jake, a vocalist, we produced that. I recorded the guitars and bass here and then reamped Marcus's guitars, what he recorded in, in Sweden. He recorded just the DIs and I reamped them with my amps. So I, I did stems to everyone. Like, I, I bounced drums to one stereo file, rhythm guitar left, rhythm guitar right. Or rhythm guitars left, uh, melody guitars left, right, uh, additional guitars. So everybody has has the stems, and then they can do their own mixes and uh, play along. Like you know, Alex would obviously wouldn't use the drums, but all the others, and then then the the click track because we we play to the click track because we we still don't have a a live bass player. So I, I play the bass. On the albums, Peter Evers played on the on the first album. So the bass is coming from the track, and and the keyboards. So we need to use a click track, and the keyboards are up, being played mostly by Jake. Very few things on the new album by me, and then we have a couple of other guys like Jonah Weingart and, and Vikram. Sorry, I can't remember your last name. Who, who did and Elias Homley. A couple of other guys who did some some keyboards and, and string, strings too. So those are coming from the from the tape. And then me and Marcus, we just figure out how we you know divide the multiple guitar tracks. So we we've done we've had a you know like calls and and we've done videos for each other. Like hey, okay, if I play this, you play this, and then some of the stuff we'll figure out uh, when you know we're together. Usually <laughs> like once or twice a, twice a year, but you know, then it's, when it's agreed, then it's, you know, you just go to the show and play, and everybody can practice home, kind of like playing with us, because everybody has the stems, and they can, you know, kind of, you know, Jake does a karaoke, he removes the vocals, and does the vocals, I removed, you're gonna hear soon a clip of the song, it's gonna be a new album, I have muted the vocals on it, so, so you know, I don't want to reveal too much, but the song originally I wrote that for in the style of In Flames video. Many people liked you, and Syra guys also. So we did that on the on the album, which is which is cool. So I basically mute. I will mute my the the left guitar track because usually we have the the root rhythm guitar on the left and the kind of harmony when their harmonies comes and goes on the right. On, on this track, I'm playing the root guitar. Some tracks I'm playing the harmony, you know, whatever. And Marcus is playing the, the melodies. 
and I'm playing the, the solo. So what you're about to hear is, is me, I remove the, the left rhythm guitars and I, you know, I actually filmed that already, so that, that's why I'm talking in past tense, but to you it's in the future. So I just played my lie part and I panned it a little bit on the left and then I, I uh, panned Marcus a little bit on the right, kind of like how I have it, the mix in my in-ears, because we use in-ears. So what you're about to hear, it's pretty close to my, my in-ear mix. So I, I'm usually a little bit here on the left side, uh, kind of like this, and then Marcus is here on the, on the right side, uh, about like here, <laughs> if it makes any sense. So I can hear him too, especially when we're doing uh, twin leads and harmonies, I, I kind of need to he he hear that, and obviously I want to hear that. Great player, and, and it's it's great. So it, it's almost like playing with uh, with an with an album, o obviously with a much more mistakes because <laughs> live is live, and some of our live arrangements are different. So I have on some stuff I have played, let's say the bass a little bit differently if we have decided to extend some part or whatnot. But this, for now, this is just like it's it's on the album, and. What I'm using now, it's pretty similar to what I use live. So I use blue guitars and one Irium, and I use only one channel, the, the classic channel, which is kind of like your Jay-Z made hundred. And I boost that with bass super overdrive. And that's, that's it. Then I have a delay on that loop, which I kick in if I happen to be on the pedal board when there's a melody or whatever. If not, our front of house guy does that. So I have pretty similar setup here now because my, my pedal board, my live library is, is in Gothenburg, Cyrus headquarters. So this is uh, one of my signature ESPs, 81, EMG 8185 pickups in standard C. Then it goes to the pedal board where I have now two Screamer 808, it's a replica. And after that it's Ford in Zool noise gate just to get rid of the hiss. So it's basically turned as minimum as possible. And then it goes to the 5150, where I have the, the, the lead channel on. And on the 5150's effect loop, I have a bus DD, what is it, DD7 delay, you know, your, your basic kind of. <laughs> And what's called with the 5150s food switch, so there's an effect loop on and off. So off, on. You get just a little bit of space for certain, you know, endings and or or something. That's that's kind of like I kick that on and off, just, you know, by, by, by feel and if I happen to be on my pedalboard. Because like I said, I have one, one sound, I do everything, you know, I pick lighter, use different pickup, use my volume, volume knobs for... A separate clean lead or whatever sound. I just have one good sound, at least in my opinion. Okay, 5150. Then it goes to Marshall 9060 cabinet with Marshall vintage speakers. It's in another room, mic'd with a 2SM57 on a Fredman style, and then into warm audios, uh, microphone pre for an API style, WA412. <laughs> So, yeah, why I'm using the 5150? Well, because it's pretty handy, the effect loops with now, and I, I just retubed it. I put a JJ ECC 83S in the preamp section, and the shop didn't have JJ power amp tubes, so there's a tube amp doctor's red base 606 power amp tubes. So, completely new, new tubes to the amp, and you know, sounds and feel, feels great. And like I said, I'm boosting that with the 808. And then the, the Wah is a John Petrucci Wah. On my live board, I have at the moment a uh, full tones Claude Deluxe Wah. 
Okay, so that's how we practice. So first, everybody practice at home, learns the songs, figure out the, the their their parts. Then we get together and we're like, okay, okay, what do you play? I play this. You play that. Okay, let's change this. Let's change that. Or maybe me and Marcus will switch parts. You know, I think backing vocals too. So uh, on on these new albums, songs, the live verses, I'm playing mostly on the choruses just the, the basic rhythms and Marcus does the kind of lead melodies and additional whatever stuff and I'm playing basically rhythm and the actual guitar solo so it's easier for me to, to sing as many of our choruses like on this one it's just usually chords and then the other guitar is doing which I joined in the end, which I will join in the end, you will hear here soon. But now now the song, uh, I I recorded it fully, but uh, I will edit it a little bit, because like I said, I don't want to reveal too much on our record label, Nuclear Blast, probably appreciates that too, but you will hear the kind of basic riffs just to get an idea how my in-ear mix kind of sounds. So you will hear it. I mix that that song pretty much like I like my in-ear mix. So except there's no no click track because I'm having the click all the time. But it's quite quiet. But to you it will be probably a bit annoying. <laughs> so I just took that off. But hey, thanks for for watching. So I'm going to go on tour now. I'll be away almost three weeks. But uh, I have, a, I think, one video after this, which I've already filmed. And then when I'm back, I will continue doing more videos and wait for new Syra tours. There's mixing jobs and, and stuff. But anyway, uh, happy 2023 to all. Take care and uh, enjoy rock and roll. <laughs>